so, uh, so I see a very rapid technology development. If you look at the history of batteries from, from lead acid batteries to uh, metal, uh, like NICAD batteries, to final lithium batteries, it essentially doubled in energy density over 100 years. Now it's doubled in five years. This is a good sign. <laughs> Why? Because there's a huge market. Now, so my guess is, it's a raw guess, that perhaps in five to ten years, you would have, by the way, utility, the, the, the reliability for utility scale is very high. The bar is very high, just as for a car. You don't want recalls. You don't want something, in, you don't, you want to put, you know, it's like the transformers on top of the telephone poles. You know, you stick those up there, you expect them to work for 15 years. You don't want to be servicing them every two years. Similarly for a battery, you expect it to work for 10, 15, 20 years. So that in itself will delay, but I'm, I'm saying five or 10 years, you begin to get at least testing of these cheap. Uh, I think $200, it's right now three or 400. $200, a certainty within uh, $100 gets very, very exciting because it becomes ubiquitous. Because, and you will need those for the EV and plug-in hybrids to stabilize the grid. You will need those from as solar becomes cheap and as it gets on warehouses and cars. And it actually, it helps the electrical system become more efficient. People don't realize what, you know, when you learn about electricity in college, uh, it's kind of the analogy between electricity and plumbing is very, very, very similar. You know, there's voltage and there's current. Voltage is the height of the water or the head pressure. Current is how fast the water flows. So what we have in our electrical system is we fill at the top in a central or substation, and we overfill and we let it all slosh out through the various pipes that go down to the homes and businesses. We overfill on purpose just to make sure the, at the last strands of the distribution system they get the, what they need. Um, we don't need to overfill if we had local energy storage at the fringes. Okay, and it also makes it more robust against electrical interruptions, very transient interruptions. Sometimes, occasionally, maybe you have them in Colorado, we got them in DC. The thing kind of flickers for a few seconds <laughs> and all sorts of electronic go wacko. <laughs> And, and so you can have a very much more robust system. So this is a very big deal. And so these price points of $200 and $100, you, you know you have a mental picture of when things will get installed. It's not that far away. Five, 